Happy Friday, everybody. We're here with Max King. You know, I could say you're the king, and you are pretty impressive in terms of your athletic accomplishments. I, the first question I have is when did you know you had a gift? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. I always, you know, I kind of started out and I was terrible at ball sports. I played baseball. <laughs> I was on the, I was on like the, the C team in baseball. I managed to hit an in-fly in home run and I ran all the way around the bases before they could actually, uh, or infield home run, and got around the bases before they actually got the ball back in. So I, I knew I was at least pretty quick. And then, uh -huh. you know, you have the, the P mile in seventh grade and stuff, and then started running track from there. And um, right off the bat, kind of started, uh, you know, having some success. Uh, you remember you know, how fast grade. that seventh grade mile was? I don't. I can't remember. Come on. No, I know. I know. It's it's been such such a long time ago. So, <laughs> but uh, I ended up winning <laughs> winning uh, districts in track and field that year too. So uh, things things kind of started happening for me right out of the gate. So it's pretty good. How much does your life just revolve around running? Like your daily life. Everything, everything does. And that's what's been great is I actually uh, retired from my chemical engineering job two years yeah. ago. Um, and I was doing that for about eight years and then uh, managed to retire from that. And then since then, I've been working at the running store, running part time, coaching on the side. And so everything in my life now revolves around running. And, and what's really cool is that um, since I started doing that, it's like I'm, I'm just that much more excited about, you know, what I get to do every day. Um, and it doesn't feel like that much of a job for me. So if you've ever thought life was unfair, you know, a little down on yourself, it is unfair. <laughs> Some people are just better at that's lots true. of different things, but that's pretty amazing. That and somebody told me, you know, when I was training and I was like a solid mid-packer, there's always going to be somebody faster than you. And they were always talking about Max. Always. always. And not he's always. smarter than you too. Always. Dang it. Was it hard to leave that job behind what? running or not at all? He's smarter than me. Did you hear what he Not just said he used to do? No, 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 Chemical no, no. engineering? Well, All right, okay. well, we're working in TV, so... <laughs> uh, no, it, I mean, it, it actually it kind of was hard. Um, just, you know, with a good, you know, it's a good, solid job. It's a great yeah. job to have, and it was actually, uh, it was it was interesting for me to, to be able to do that, and um, it was actually, you know, using what my education, uh, education was for, and so it was kind of yeah. tough to say, okay, I'm going to, you know, drop my, you know, what I actually had my education kinda in. Kind of scary? And, Absolutely, definitely a lot. You know, it's very scary, and um, you know, not sure how this was going to pan out. If I was going to be able to, you know, basically make enough to to fend for my family, and so yeah, yeah it was kind of scary. And but it's everything's worked out, um, which has been great. And uh, you know, my my grandpa actually, he's kind of the type that if you have a good job, you stick with it. Um, yeah. And so yeah. that was pretty tough for for some of my family to handle uh, like that when when I did quit and. So, you know, it just, it's, uh, but it's, it's worked out and it's been a really good move for me. Well, obviously you have magazine covers now, <laughs> so your parents are probably proud to collect those and right, take them all and show yeah. their friends now. My, my grandparents are the first ones to go to uh, Barnes and Noble or wherever and, and buy the entire, yeah, you know, take their it, entire stock. Out. Them. Yeah, exactly. And even order some extras from the, from the cashier. So. Favorite distance. Favorite distance? Um, it's kind of tough. Probably half marathon distance. Uh, it's long enough that you, you need a pretty good amount of endurance for it, um, but also short enough that uh, it's still fun to run fast. You know, it's, it's fun to, to really get up and go sometimes. And uh, the ultra distances are always, they're fun because you, you kind of feel like you're, you're in the wild, you're out in the wilderness, and you really get to um, travel quite a ways and mm -hmm. you feel like you've accomplished something that day. Um, but at the same time, when you're doing that, you don't get to run all that fast. And so, you know, it's just like being a kid, you know, running is, is fun and running fast is a lot of fun. And so that half marathon distance is kind of that, that melding of those two worlds is you cover in some distance, but you're also, you get to run really fast. So. How fast can you run a half marathon? Uh, on the road, uh, 103. Wow. So. That's fast. I run a mile in 103. <laughs> an hour. That's an hour and three minutes. Oh, I, I understand. <laughs> I, was, I was aware, Max. <laughs> what, uh, when you're doing a, an ultra distance, um, do you get to a point where you, do you ever get to the point where you say, I don't think I can go any further? Yeah, and that's, um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's kind of what the ultra distance is about, um, is getting to that point where you kind of feel like you can't, can't really go on. 
and then just breaking through that. Uh, and a lot of people can't do that. And there's times in a race where you shouldn't do that, um, you know, mm. uh, injury wise and stuff like that. But um, if you can fight through that and get through that, it, whether it's uh, nutrition wise or whether your legs are just feeling so tired and so beat up that you can't go on, you gotta just, you, fighting through that is, is what gives you that sense of accomplishment when you complete, uh, complete an ultra. Is so. part of um, that competition involving this muscle between your ears absolutely yeah and you know that's the thing about an ultra is a lot of it probably i don't know you could say 50 percent of it is up between your ears and uh, whether you're going to make it to that finish line uh, depends less on your legs um, because you can't really train for that kind of distance all that well uh, you know day-to-day -day life you're never going to really run 50 miles in training and so uh, once you get past that distance where you've gone in training it's it's all up between your ears and it really depends on on really what you can do then so the heavy like, uh, philosophical question is, what does running teach you about life? Everything. I mean, you know, that's, that's the, big, the big thing that's with running is that people always teach you, your coaches, this is a metaphor for life. And um, it's going to teach you so much about, you know, what you're going to have to endure later in life that, you know, use this now, especially when you're in high school and stuff. Coaches always tell you that kind of stuff. And, and really, you get, you get to be older. And you realize how true that really is. It's kind of like, you know, when, you're, when you have to persevere through, um, you get dehydrated, you get lost, you get, um, you know, a, a small injury or something like that where it just, it hurts. But um, to be able to move through that and make it through that and apply everything you've learned up to that point and all your experience uh, to getting through that, uh, it really kind of, it really does apply to the rest of your life and, and teaches you a lot about how you can get through things that you think are pretty impossible so cool i gotta go get my magazine so you can get an autograph for me okay <laughs> right now <laughs> thanks Max, so much thanks a lot. yeah no problem take care